Phoenix's 20 games over 500. One of the big reasons is shooting guard Rex Chapman playing on his fourth team in a 10-year NBA career. Peter Vesey has Chapman's unusual story. Rex Chapman launches up a three. Oh! 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 King Rex does his thing. I'm not afraid to miss. I'm not afraid to be a GOAT. Uh, I've played with guys in this league that have averaged 20, 25 points a game. And come fourth quarter, they're hiding from the ball. Danny Ainge told me the other night that he's never been around a player that's won more big games except for Larry Bird. Except for Larry Bird. And he said, really, the only reason that he put you below Bird is because Bird had more opportunities to win games. Well, I'm a lot like Larry in a lot of ways. <laughs> You know what I would say? Just put it in the paycheck. Yeah, that's right. What would you say? Well, that's a great compliment. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'd go that far. I like you know, your first answer better. <laughs> we're a lot alike. Yeah, we're a lot alike. <laughs> We've had a lot of the same career. I was, you know, I got, a, got an award the other day for making that crazy shot. Somebody asked me about it, and I said, well, the one I really wanted was player of the year, not play of the year. The Charlotte Hornets select Rex Chapman of Kentucky. Early on in my career, I had problem with shot selection. I'm not denying that. I, I, I just, I didn't know. I didn't know the NBA game. It wasn't until Kurt Rambis told me my, my second year or so, Rex, you're taking a lot of bad shots. It came from a teammate. And uh, I, he never would, you know, voice his opinion unless I asked. And, you know, I wanted to be better, so. A lot, most of the times I would ask and then might regret it a, a few minutes later, but... Oh, Rex! King Rex does his thing, and listen to this crowd! Oh, brother! Does it make it sweeter that you are making the minimum, that you're, you're, you're going up against guys who are making yeah, you ridiculous know, money? You know, I, when I first came here last year, I, I was thinking about, you know, the guys that I matched up with night in and night out, I'm making, you know, in some cases, you know, you take Michael, it's making 36,000, I'm making 300, 36 million, million I'm yeah. making 360,000 or whatever it is. Uh, you don't even that's know. That's a big discrepancy, <laughs> yeah. 327.5, I believe. Chapman, another three for the record, he got it! Chapman with nine three-pointers in the playoffs, an NBA record. I've been a starter in this league for 10 years now. And, uh, you know, I think I finally gained the respect of, of uh, coaches around the league. I think uh, players around the league know what I can do. I think I finally gained the respect of the people that matter in this league. And when did that happen? I think probably uh, when I went to Miami. Uh, you know, I, I, had a, I had a tremendous time playing in Miami, playing for Pat Riley. I was one of his guys. You know, I played 40 minutes a night. And, uh, uh, I think that opened some people's eyes. Had he made a commitment to you? Uh, as, as far to as... To keep you? Uh, we had talked a few times, and, you know, he always said he was going to take care of me. And I'd been through a tough situation in Washington uh, and had just told him that the only thing that I, I wasn't prepared to do was do a one-year deal. With them uh, wanting to re-sign Alonzo, wanting to go after Jawan Howard, and uh, the next thing I knew, I was asked to do a one-year deal. And there was no way. After all I'd been through, uh, you know, I, I couldn't do that to myself again, could not do that to my, my family again, and, and the uncertainty. But why were you willing to come out to Phoenix and accept the minimum 247,500? And now uh, this year they were only, they were only mm -hmm. able to give you, what, 326? Yeah, I wasn't uh, at first. In fact, after my eighth year, after the year in Miami, I was at home in October in Lexington. And I was prepared to quit playing. You just think, Wow, you, n you never know what's going to happen, but it couldn't have been any better. So what do you think he gave up by, by coming back here uh, this year? Maybe, it's hard to say, maybe, maybe 15 million. But my family, my wife, my kids love it here. And uh, I'm tired of moving them around. I think that being in a stable place, in a stable environment that, that you enjoy, and the quality of life is, is so much more important. Your son Zeke is, is five years old? Yeah. Now, uh, I heard he's a great player. Is, is, he, is he more advanced than you were at that age? Uh, 
And we are Zeke, talking five years, five years old, old here. Zeke uh, passes the ball less than I do. So I don't know if his teammates enjoy it or not. He, he was, uh, they won a game the other day. He had 22, the team had 26, and uh, I think he had two passes. So I don't know. But the key is, are they bad shots or good shots? Yeah, what, do we have, what do we have to bring Kurt Rambis in here? I'm going to bring Kurt and Dick Harder in here and, uh, and get them to straighten Zeke out.